Has anyone noticed that there are lots of flats? But there are also lots of flats? How come? There's so much water in one part of the world, but there's lack of water in the other part of the world. Hmm. How does forest system teach do with it? Good evening, everyone. My name is Benjamin Jessup Lee. I'm 11 years old and I'm a student of Bangun de Lower Ambarawa Elementary School. Thank you for having me here, especially the Alanga counties. My speech today is about what can we do to save our forest. I will start with the reasons why we need to save them. Let's have a look on the water cycle. Water cycle is a process of distributing water around the world through a continuous cycle. First is the evaporation and transpiration process. Evaporation is when water evaporates from sea, lake, or river. Transpiration is when plant releases its axis of water through its leaves. And then condensation. In this process, water changes its form again from vapor to liquid. And precipitation, or known as rain, Finally, collection! Water goes back to the earth, absorbed and stored as underground water. Forest, of course, is one of the absorption areas. As we can imply from the water cycle process before, to create enough rain, there should be two sources, evaporation and transpiration. Less trees means less transpiration. Less transpiration means less rain. Less rain will lead to drought. On the other hand, forest helps us to cool the earth by absorbing carbon through the photosynthesis process. Less freeze means hotter temperature. Hotter temperature or just the evaporation process, which means more rain is created. Too much rain will lead to flood. Both broad and flood will cause food scarcity. Moreover, forest is a place to store underground water. Underground water is fresh water that we use for our daily needs. Although Earth has an abundance of water, only 3% is fresh water and the rest is salt water. Now in that 3%, 1% from lake and river, 29% from underground water, and 70% from glacier. Not to mention, forest is also home for many wild and endangered animals, exotic plants, and shelter for some tribes. What can we do to save our forest? One, spread the message. For me, following this competition is also a way to spread the message. If you're good at making poster, make and post one. If you can make a song, create one. Build the awareness. Two, use less paper. One tree can be used to produce 10,000 up to 20,000 sheets of paper. Each sheet of paper matters. So, what can we do to reduce the usage of paper? We can use both sides of paper and think before we print. Three, do the real thing. Plant tree or even trees. Make our backyard a tiny forest. Thank you for listening to my speech. Let's save the forest together. Started with you and me.